went out there every day thinking you're going to have the same thing going on, and that's not going to happen. Sport's not for you. Steelhead's a small niche. If it was that easy to do, everybody would be doing it. You know, you fish hard all day, you catch one fish, you're doing good. If you catch any more, you're doing great. I grew up in Ontario, so I remember I started fishing for these fish at the age of probably seven or eight. I was a steelhead bum like most others. <laughs> I'm spending a month or two out of here in BC area, especially in the Skeena region. I realized the first fish that I caught, the first West Coast steelhead I caught, I, I thought I'd caught a, a world record. It was probably only 17 or 18 pounds, still a nice fish, but I thought it was 40, you know, because I'd never seen anything that big before. My name is Darren Wright. My better half of myself, Missy McDonald. We own and run the Steelhead House here in Terrace, BC. The fishery here is unlike any other, I think. You can find wild steelhead here 12 months of the year. It's not like the summer run fish where you get a lot of fish. It's more of a, a hit and miss opportunity. But when, when you do hit these fish, it only takes one to see why they're so special. You can basically see yourself in the size of that cell there. I don't do a ton of heli fishing, uh, but when I do, it's, it's definitely a treat just as much as it is for the guide as it is for the client. The big thing about it, I think, is getting remote. That's, you know, you really know that uh, you're going off, uh, off the grid when you're, when you're doing this. And all the steelhead junkies would say there's no drug like the tug. The electricity that, when that fish grabs the fly and almost tears it out of your hand, that, that's what it's all about. When you catch one, you know, a lot of, especially the ones around here, in my mind, you, know, you, you think of his journey, where, where's he been? When you look at that fish, it's that chrome. That, that's the thing. The silver they are, the more special they are, I think, is the closer they are from the ocean. Steelheads here are still sort of like it was probably 50 years ago down in some of the, the rivers like in California and Oregon and Washington. Everybody's got different expectations I think of steelhead fishing. As you do more of it, the big picture is just you know, finding fish, you know, beautiful scenery in the wilderness to get back to nature and be in a place middle of nowhere, nothing could be finer. I've always wanted to, to have a log home and uh, to guide people for steelhead. Uh, I always went to school to become a school teacher. I guess I'm just teaching a different curriculum, but I couldn't see myself in, a, in, in any other place. 